Hello everybody, welcome to a song and a Bible reading and it's so good. Every single day that we do this, it's so good to have you join me. Not because I like the company, but because I know when you're spending time in the Word and in worship of the Lord, you're growing, God's teaching, and He's, He's leading you and me in the way that we ought to go. If we'll submit unto Him, He'll make our way straight. So that's a wonderful thing. Thou art my God, and I will praise Him. Thou art my God, I will exalt Him. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. And His mercy endureth forever. Thou art my God, and I will praise Thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt Thee. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. endureth forever. Amen. It is good every day that we wake up. You know, sometimes we'd like to see, oh, how am I feeling today? And that might dictate how things go for you. But that's not how you should do it. You should get up in the morning and just declare, I'm going to praise the Lord today. I'm going to thank God for all things today. I'm going to walk in His ways today. You get up and declare that. Then instead of the day dictating you, you will dictate the day. And Jesus will guide you by His Holy Spirit. Thou art my God, and I will praise Thee. Thou art my God. I will exalt Thee. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. And His mercy endureth forever. Amen. So I hope that we will do that each and every morning. All right, so we're rolling right along in the Psalms, and it's always good. You know, David was just like you and I, you know. He uh, went through problems, he had his high times, and he had his low times, and God was with him through it all, and he found out that as long as he had a contrite heart, that God would always meet him, and so it's the same with us. So we find out a lot about David and the other psalmists as we go through these psalms. We're in chapter Psalm 44 today. So Heavenly Father, Lord, like David, we are faulty and we have our good days and bad days, but Lord, you knowest it. And Father, we just pray that you would guide us through it all. Help us as we read about these different ones that wrote the Psalms, we pray that we can learn from their experiences and we can draw from the strength that they received and that we too would be given help in our time of need and a way to rejoice in our time of good. Bless the reading of your word today in Jesus' name. Amen. So chapter 44. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days, in the times of old. How they did strive, drive out the heathen with thy hand, and plantest them. How thou didst afflict the people, and cast them out. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them. But thy right hand, and thine arm, and the light of thy countenance, because thou hast a favor unto them. 
Thou art my king, O God. Command deliverances for Jacob. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread upon them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and hast put them to shame that hated us. In God we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever, Selah. But thou hast cast off and put us to shame and goes not forth with our armies. Thou makest us to turn back from the enemy and they which hate us spoil for themselves. Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat and hast scattered us among the heathen. Thou sellest thy people for naught and does not increase thy wealth by their price. Thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. Hmm. Thou makest us, 15, sorry. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face has covered me. For the voice of him that reproaches and blasphemeth by reason of the enemy and avenger, all this is come upon us, yet have we not forgotten thee. Neither have we dealt falsely in thy covenant. Our heart is not turned back. Neither have our steps declined from thy way. Though thou was sore broken us in the place of dragons and covered us with the shadow of death, if we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands to a strange God, shall not God search this out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Yea, for thy sake are we killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, why sleepest thou, O Lord? Arise, cast us not off forever. Wherefore hidest thou thy face, and forgettest our affliction and our oppression? For our soul is bowed down to the dust, our belly cleaveth unto the earth. Arise for our help and redeem us for thy mercy's sake. Oh, a call out to the Lord in those times when it seems like maybe he's forgotten us. Hmm. There was another song I was going to sing you. You'll notice that the name of this YouTube channel with these devotions is called Walking with Jesus. And the reason I called it that is because my grandma wrote a little song called Walking with Jesus. I'd like to sing it for you. Walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus, day after day we're walking with Him. Till in that glorious day of deliverance, we shall be like Him, our Savior and King. Blessed the life that's lost in Him only. Live unto others that they too may know that life in the Spirit, free from all bondage, hasten the hour, O oh, Savior, we pray. Walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus, day unto day we're walking with Him. In, for in that glorious day of deliverance, we shall be like Him, our Savior and King. Blessed the life that's lost in Him only. Live unto others that they too may know That life in the Spirit, free from all bondage Hasten the hour, O oh, Savior, we pray I do hope that you're enjoying and are blessed by these daily songs and Bible readings. I hope it encourages you to walk closer to the Lord, 
to endeavor to put him first and be led by his spirit. That's my goal. That's my prayer for you each and every day. So having said that, if you have any prayer requests, feel free to put them on the comments here or, or you can private message us and we'll bring them as a family to the Lord. But either way, you have no need to take the burdens on yourself. There's the body of Christ in which you and I are a part of, and we bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. So it's a beautiful thing. You don't have to burden it alone. So thanks for joining me again, and Lord willing, see you tomorrow.